Hey guys, it's Tara. Hi. Um, so yesterday I uploaded a video saying I was gonna start like um basically a mini series. I don't know if it'd be if it's gonna be mini, it may be mini. M-A-N-Y. Mini. Plenty. <laughs> Maybe not a mini series. Um, because I don't know how long this is gonna take. Um today was better. Um, I woke up at 6 a.m. this morning and held off taking my one milligram of Suboxone until 10 a.m. That's probably the latest I've taken it in, well, the four years I've been on it because I've had a job the four years I've been on it, so I've had to be up early. Um, so yeah, that's the latest I've taken it and, and... I'll be completely transparent here. Honestly, I didn't need it at 10 o'clock. I just kind of panicked. Not, not a panic, but so I'll just be real honest. I'm lazy and the poster child for depression and unemployment and anxiety and da 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 da. So I nap. I take naps sometimes during the day. So. I wake up early. I woke up at 6, so by 10, I was ready to lay down for like an hour or two, you know? Um, and not sleeping is probably my biggest problem with like any type of withdrawal or detox or anything. So I guess I just got a little nervous that like I wouldn't be able to comfortably lay down if I didn't take it. So. I kind of cheated myself on that one. I didn't need to take it at 10. I didn't feel bad. The only real difference was my cigarettes tasted a little funny. I'm a smoker. Um, that is part of it. Um, every time I've come off of something, it does, it, it automatically changes the taste of your cigarettes. I don't know why. I don't, and it's kind of like effed up because they taste so bad that you almost want to just quit but then you're like oh my god I'm quitting too much at once you know you know like it's like give me something leave me something to do you know <laughs> so cigarettes tasted just just a little funky not bad enough to like not smoke I just didn't smoke as often which is a good result but you know it's kind of like taking away too many things at once um so yeah, so I made it until 10 a.m. this morning. I woke up at 6, so normally um, it would have been in my mouth and done by 6.30. If I woke up at 6 a.m., by 6.30 on a normal day, that would have been done, taken in my mouth, and dissolved, and all gone. Sorry, my hair. I got, like, a trim on the top, and, like, we had to comb it, so, like, all my putty is, like, all that white flex. I don't have dandruff. It's just, like, my hair gel, you know, that I style. Anyways, off topic. Um, so I'm not going to consider today a fail. I'm going to consider today a, um, a very small baby step, but a step nonetheless. A step nonetheless. It was a step nonetheless. And even in, in, at 10 when I did take it, I took one of like the smallest little pieces. So it wasn't actually a full one miller. Okay, so... They only come in two milligram tablets. That's the lowest that the pharmacy makes. Um, so I get a two milligram tablet and then I have to cut it in half with a knife um, because they're so small that a pill cutter won't won't do it. They just break into a jillion pieces. So I have to take a really sharp like onion knife or little dicing knife and I have to cut it in half to make it a one milligram. So, sometimes, obviously, you're going to cut it. You're going to cut it uneven. So, normally, I put the smaller chips back in the bottle, you know, and I take the, the bigger half or, you know, whatever. Today, I did not cut a new one. I had some of the smaller sides already cut. I just reached in my bottle and grabbed one of the smaller pieces. Um, I'm sure it was close enough to one milligram, so I'm not even going to say I cut my dose because that's not really true. Um, it was just a smaller piece. It wasn't like it was anything major. Um, I mean, how do you break, how do you, how do you even go below one milligram? Like, you, 
you don't. So, um, yeah, small victory for today. Uh, not great, but it's the first time I've started, so, yeah, we're doing it. I don't know, it's, when it gets later and later is when the, you're going to really see the panic in me, um. But right now I feel good. I'm happy that I was actually able to, to, not even just that I waited, just the fact that I got up this morning and had the willpower to not just go ahead and take the easy way out and stick it in my mouth. Ooh, that sounded bad. <laughs> not what I meant. That came out really wrong. Uh, I'm proud that I didn't automatically take the easy way out and go ahead and just take the medication as soon as I woke up. I genuinely tried to wait and I did wait. It wasn't a, a crazy amount of time, but it was probably the latest I've taken my medicine and like I said, the four years I've been on it. So, I don't know, little progress. I, it's, it's tiny, it's tiny but it's progress. It's something. So, I'm not going to count today as a fail. I'm not going to count it as like a huge victory, but like, it's something. It's something. You know, yesterday was nothing. I didn't even try. So, today was something. And that's really all I can ask out of myself at this point, because it's just hard. <laughs> and it's just hard. It's overwhelming and it's stressful and it's just hard. So I'm not going to expect this, this great, you know, gesture on my part. Like we all know how scared I am. So I'm not trying to put expectations up here that I'm just going to be able to knock this out. Like, no, I'm not, I'm not going to put any expectation on myself. Every day I'm just going to wake up and I'm going to try not to take it. And I'm going to try to wait as long as possible. And we're just going to see how that goes. We're just going to let it go, let it go. I've never seen Frozen, so I don't really know how the song goes. But that's that's the moment I'm living in. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Let release myself of this burden and this pressure. You know, like, do do I need a job right now? Yes, I do. I need income coming in. Yes, I do. But I know that that job is going to be there whenever I'm ready. They've made that very clear that there is no timeline for me to take as long as I possibly need. The job will be there for me when I'm ready. I would like to be able to start it in July, which is when it's supposed to start. Um, but you know, I'm gonna take that pressure off, or try to take that pressure off, and just see how far I can make it every day. Just point blank period. Today I made it until 10 a.m. Tomorrow I may wake up and go ahead and take it. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna try you know, skipping every other day or just trying to push it back as far as I can every other day or if I want to continue just seeing how far I get each day. I don't know. That may be a take it day by day type of decision because, I mean, you know, when you wake up in the morning, you don't know. You don't know how you feel. You don't know how strong your willpower is that day, you know, it really varies, it varies day to day, you know, and everything varies day to day, God, I hate change, I really, I'm not a person that's good with change, I hate it when I fall into a routine of something, I want to stick to that routine, I hate change, because I have anxiety, and change means not knowing, and I just, it's not my jam. It's just not my jam. But we gonna try. We gonna try. And I'll get there when I get there. And I will continue with this series. It may not be a 
mini series um, anymore. It may be a mini, <laughs> a mini part series. I don't know. We don't know. But we gonna hang and we gonna do it. So, oh, and I did. Oh, did I get my Fab Fit Fun Box um, and my Ipsy? But um, my phone's still being stupid. Um, I've been to AT&T, but because they're still not really allowing people in the store, they have to like come out to your car. They're not allowed to touch your phone. <sighs> it's crazy. So my phone kind of got fixed, but not really. So um, I'll actually make another video in the morning about my Ipsy and um, what all I got. It wasn't fantastic. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, there's a, I mean, there's a couple things I'm really excited about. So I got like the new Tarte double-ended eyeliner, which one is like a cream pencil for tight lining, and the other end is their liquid liner. Listen, I'm all about liquid eyeliner and tight lining, so a two-in-one product in that respect. Can't wait to try. Um, I got this illuminating primer, and for those of you who know, I'm not a big foundation person, meaning I'm really not a primer person either, but if there's a primer that has just, just a smidge of color and it's illuminating, I'll actually just use the primer as my base. So, like, I'll put that on just, just to kind of smooth out the complexion and then just put my blush and stuff over it. No foundation, no, none of that. Um, so I'm really excited to try that. And, ooh, and I got a really cool new eyebrow pencil. I want to say it's a Benefit brand. Ooh, and I got a brush set. Oh, and Wander Beauty um, eyebrow gel. And a highlighter palette. And an eyeshadow. I always get an eyeshadow palette. Like, it, can anybody else, does anybody else get Ipsy? I swear to you, every single month, I get a new eyeshadow palette. And it's on my profile that I prefer neutrals and nudes. But yet, I get, like, the bright purples and the blues. <laughs> Good thing my mom likes them because <laughs> I've repersonalized it, like, ten times. They still keep sending me these crazy colored eyeshadow palettes. Anyways, so, yeah, so I gave my mom the eyeshadow palette. I totally want the primer. I'm going to try it. Um... Ooh, I got a new mascara, Seat London. That's a good brand, actually. I like them. I don't know how popular they are, but um, I love their highlighters and stuff. They're beautiful. Um, but obviously, haven't tried any of it. So, yeah, I might jump on in the morning. Um, might, you know, kind of get a face going. I don't know, depending on what mood I'm in. I might get a face on and come back and show you guys and tell you my first thoughts and what I think of what I got and and what all I got um there was some beach spray and my fab fit fun that didn't really make any sense it's supposed to be a facial mist but it doesn't have any SPF in it so you're really just spraying your face to keep it moist I don't know facial sprays unless they're a setting spray just confuse the bloody shit out of me I, so you know whatever but, um, yeah, I'll hop back on in the morning and let you guys know what all I got in my boxes. Bye.